Hello everyone, Miles Tactical back here with an update on our Tactical Cobra dog collar. Gonna show you the update, the benefits, and how to operate it properly. And over here you can see we have uh, the one with the handle, and this is also available without the handle in the same style. And uh, you'll notice right away maybe that uh, we do not have the traditional slip adjuster that you'll find on most collars and some of our current collars still. And uh, this uh, type of adjustment system we have here uses the hook and loop on the inside of the loop here. Uh, and this is a major benefit to those who want one collar to fit their puppy all the way in its growth, all the way to an extra large size. So um, here in the smallest Smallest size, you could go a little smaller, but over here we're going to say it's going to go down to about 16 inches and it will move as your dog grows all the way up to XL size. And uh, as far as the operation, we're going to go back here to the one without the handle. And uh, you'll notice here because of the loop going inside, when you open it in its smallest form, it's going to pop out kind of like this. And uh, this is what it should do because when you close it up, it just sits down and lays flat along itself. So once you have adjusted this collar, you want to make sure it is sitting flat inside for your dog's comfort and the proper operation of the collar. So let's go ahead and open this up here. And uh, you want to adjust this. We also have a belt keeper over here. And uh, you're going to slide this. It's kind of meant to stay on this side. It's not really, really necessary, but we have it there. Just kind of keep it closed from coming open. So to adjust the collar, uh, you want to move the belt keeper all the way on over here so it's completely out of the way. And you can take it, undo it, and now this is almost a virtually unlimited uh, adjustment possibility for you. From a small, you get your this thing as a puppy for your dog and it'll grow all the way up with your dog to its full grown size. So of course, easy, easy concept to understand. Just shove it through. You just pull it tight again. And uh, you have it uh, fit to your dog's size. To close it back up, the best thing to do is to snap the collar back together and then go ahead and lay down the webbing on the inside of the collar. This will assure that uh, when it is in the closed position around your dog's neck, it is going to be laying flat. Of course, when you open it, you pull it tight, it's going to have a little uh, bit of an opening there. But it is meant when you're closed, you have a perfect, perfectly laying flat and basically unbreakable collar uh, with this uh, 7,000 pound pull. This is a mil spec webbing. 7,000 pound brake strength on it. And of course, uh, the Cobra buckle here has a 4,000 pound strength on it. And of course, we have the stainless steel V-ring, a custom miles tactical V-ring, and the D-ring, which is for your dog tags only. All right, then over here, got all the space for your dog patches. And that's it. So once you've done adjusting it, you want to grab the belt keeper and you can go ahead and slide it all the way back to the other side and you have it. Miles Tactical dog collar with a hook and loop adjustment feature available with handle, without handle and so far in three different colors. The black here, we have the coyote and then the wolf gray. Alright, we'll see you all next time on the next video.